So this may be one of the most grim things you'll ever see on my channel. Hello guys and welcome back to Car Obsession. Once more I'm joined by Leo, my Mark II Sat Leon Cupra. As some of you may remember, a while back I fitted a Forge Motorsport oiled catch can and in that video I said I would give you an update after 1000 miles. Well since then I've actually covered around 1200 miles so this update is a little bit overdue, it's just the first time I've had a chance to film it. Although around 200 miles off that 1,200 were on track. So technically, technically speaking, I have done 1,000 miles on the road. So without further ado, let's have a look at the level and see how much oil it has captured. Right, let me just bring you guys down. So as you can see on the side of the can, you have a little window which allows you to see how much oil is in there. Now, I do have to be honest here, anything I review has to be honest and as impartial as possible. Um, I will say it's not overly easy to detect how much oil is actually in there. The other slight downside of this particular catch can is to drain it. You can't really do it with the can in situ um, because the drain bung is there. And yes, uh, that's gonna be too fiddly, fiddly to do uh, whilst it's fitted. So a little bit annoyingly, I am going to have to um, kind of re uh, reinstall, uninstall it a bit so I can properly drain it. So let me get some tools and I'll be back in a hot second. Right, what's that, what's that 10 mil? It's got a bit of 10 mil, isn't it? Yeah, that's a jobby, right. Good friend of the channel, Pocket Rockets, he's got an oil catch can fitted for his um, Fiesta ST and his one actually has a dipstick and I think that's a better idea. So Forge Motorsport, if you're watching, uh, get onto the uh, R&D team and get them to uh, fit a dipstick in this one because that would make life easier. And I can lift it out like so. So even though that's uninstalled, it's gonna, still gonna be a wee bit of a faff, but Okay, so I've got a sense I'm going to need three hands for this. And last time I checked, I was born with two. So this could be interesting. Some of you watching are probably thinking, Aaron, why are you making a dog's dinner of that? It's a much easier way of doing it. But it's my first time of doing this, so I'm sure someone in the comments will give me a better way of doing it. So I could get a funnel for that, actually. Let's do that. Okie dokie, let's get this show on the road, finally. Even by my standards, this is a lot of faffing about. But after all this, barely anything will come out of it. The bung's almost out and my hands are yet to get grubby. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh wow, that's actually quite a lot. That's more. Oh dear, that last few gunks that came out were, oh, oh, that's all sludgy and oh, that's all horrible. Oh. It's like baby poo. And I should know. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is more than I was expecting. And um, if I just get you closer, just look at that. Look how horrible and gunky that is. And just think. That would be going back into the inlet manifold. Just, oh. Would you want that going through your car's engine? I wouldn't have thought so. So if I just actually open it up. So hopefully you can see just all the nasty contaminants in there. Just look at the state of that. It's almost like I've cleared out someone's pond. That is 
vial. Yeah, there we go. So I reckon this is a 330 milliliter bottle. I reckon, what's that, about 200 mil as a guess? Uh, I will actually measure it out more accurately to give you a better idea. Right, let's apply a bit more science, shall we? So this may be one of the most grim things you'll ever see on my channel. Just pour it out. Ugh, that's just a cocktail of nastiness. So, okay, let's have a look. Okay, my estimations were quite far off, if I'm going to be honest. So, it is just above uh, 100 milliliters. So, let's say 105, 110 milliliters. So, yes, as you can see, just above the uh, 100 mil marker. That is, um, yeah, that is disgusting. So, safe to say, the Ford Motorsport catch can is doing its job. So that's fantastic. Right, let's dispose of that because yeah, that's just nasty. So then time to wrap up. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting that amount of contamination to come out of the catch can. I was expecting a little dribble, a little treacle of nastiness, but no, in fact, I got a small gush. Um, so yes, is an oiled catch can worth your money? Yes, it is, especially if your car has been mapped like mine. As you can see, what has been captured was very nasty, and yes, I wouldn't want that to be going back into the engine, just oh, very nasty indeed. If you're interested in buying the Forge Motorsport oil catch can, I will put a link to it in the video description below. But yes, time for me to finish. I do hope you have found this video useful, enjoyable, or helpful, or maybe all three. If so, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are subscribed, don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a video. But until the next time, guys, be sure to keep up the car obsession.